all right what's happening guys welcome back to the channel so we're gonna try some full self driving today with the Tesla let's see how we do I'm using the average profile the middle one not the chill or not the assertive one either but as you can see it is doing some unnecessary lane changes here I have to note that screenshot but so far handling it pretty well haven't needed to take over pretty sharp turn ahead Did a good job stopping for the red light. Didn't feel like it braked too hard or anything like that. You could see it detects traffic pretty well too. Here you could see the cars turning ahead. You know, it obviously detects people. You know, from the right, straight ahead, crossing the road. So yeah, Tesla Vision does a pretty great job at that. Still at 69% state of charge. <laughs> Alright, let's go. didn't exactly turn when I wanted it to. I think it can improve on when it's supposed to change lanes for a turn. Since like I know I have a turn coming up. But at yeah, that time it did good, but sometimes hundred feet. Turn right onto North Henderson Road. It, it will wait till like now and get into the right lane like last second. Now turn right onto North And I personally Henderson don't Road. drive that way, so that's one thing it can improve on a little bit. I know as like the new 10.69, I'm sure it's gonna take some improvements, but yeah, nice job with the right turn there. We're on a pretty narrow road here. A lot of cars parked on both sides, one lane, people walking by. Um, it's doing a good job to like maintain the distance between everything. I have it set to the speed limit too, which is another advantage in case, you know. So, it did a stop for this guy here. Wow, look at that. Even though it didn't need to, it saw, you know, a pedestrian kind of walking into the street and it just decided to just stop, which he was actually just putting something in his trunk. So, you know, I'm not mad at that. Um, I probably wouldn't have stopped in that situation, but I like how it wasn't sure, so it stopped anyways. I mean, the guy kind of popped his head out of nowhere in between two cars and just went to his trunk, so FSD decided to just kind of break all of a sudden, and honestly, I'm not mad at that, because say if someone did want to pop out and just cross the street, I like how I was able to detect them really even quicker than I could. I mean, like, the car had already stopped by the time I seen him, so, um, yeah, good job there. Now we're heading through a little bit more of a busy intersection, but it seems to be doing just fine. I mean, pretty much my whole drive so far. It was a short drive. It was like under 10 minutes, but still, like, it, it pretty much handled it all. No takeovers needed. 
I'm still waiting for the day that it can handle like multi-level garages because I park in a garage so that would be super helpful but I'm not sure how they're gonna figure that one out but as you can see it does a pretty good job at detecting parked cars moving cars knowing the difference uh, of course pedestrians you know, people behind you. You can see all the way up to there. Like, it, it does a pretty good job. The traffic lights. Blue cars could be potentially in the way. Say if, like, they're moving. You know, they could be a threat. So they detect the speed to see if they in can... In 500 feet, turn right onto Fairfax Drive. Then your the destination will be on the right. This guy's working. Could have stopped. Someone was trying to cross back there. Now turn right onto Fairfax Drive. So I'm gonna take over here because I do wanna go a different direction. And since you have the navigation, then FSD decides to drive wherever you tell it. So Let's see how it detects the biker. Yeah, it does a good job at that. Well, signing off is Tesla DMV. Thanks again for joining me on the ride. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.